This video is a tutorial on how to swap and provide liquidity on Aerodrome Finance. Aerodrome is the leading decentralized exchange on the base network. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice, and it's not a suggestion that you do or do not use any particular crypto application. It's merely educational. Now let's get into it. This video is just a tutorial about Aerodrome, but if you want a longer, more in-depth description about base and other opportunities on it, I'll put a link down in the description. All right, so Aerodrome is the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base. The website is aerodrome.finance. This is what the homepage looks like, and you'll see two tabs up top, swap and liquidity. You guessed it, swap is for swapping, liquidity is for providing liquidity for other people to swap. First thing you'll need to do is connect your wallet. Click on this, and I'm gonna connect with a browser wallet. And you can see it was that simple. I, I used the MetaMask to connect and I already have some ETH on base. If you don't have ETH on base, you'll either need to bridge to base. Most major bridges work at this point. I'll link an option down in the description, or you can withdraw from Coinbase. But you'll need a little bit of ETH. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap some of that ETH. And in this case, I'm gonna swap it for Arrow. Arrow is the token of Aerodrome. This isn't an endorsement that you do the same thing. It's just for the tutorial. All right, I'm gonna swap just 0.0. .0 one ETH. You can see that it gets the exchange rate. You have to give permission for the contracts to access your ETH, and then you'll be able to swap it. And in this case, 0.01 ETH is 37 Aero tokens. I click on swap ETH for Aero. I confirm the transaction in my wallet, and then it should just take a second to actually swap some of the ETH to Aero. And the beauty of this, if you've never used a decentralized exchange before, is that all of this happens directly within your wallet. After a few seconds, the swap is confirmed. The next thing that I'm gonna do is convert some of my ETH to wrapped ETH because to provide liquidity, you actually need wrapped ETH, not just plain old vanilla ETH. And that's basically because ETH itself is not an ERC20 token. And you can see that took like half a second, right? It converted, it took almost no gas. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to the liquidity pool section and there's some extremely lucrative options for, for providing liquidity on Aerodrome right now. For example, wrapped ETH USDC is currently a 62.29% APR. And to note that these rates will not last forever. The reason they're so high right now is because Aero, the reward and governance token of Aerodrome, the price has gone up a lot. And, and so for now, the rates are extremely high compared to, or the rewards are extremely high compared to the amount of liquidity but eventually either inflation will kick in and the price of air will go down, or those rates will incentivize more people to provide liquidity. But while the rates are high, I'm gonna take advantage of them. And I'm gonna take advantage of them by depositing into this wrapped ETH arrow pool. And so that is 160%. Not too bad. I click on the pool, it opens up something like this. You can see it's got wrapped ETH, it's got arrow, and it's detecting these tokens in my wallet that we just swapped for. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select these tokens that I want to provide liquidity on. Let's see. I'm going to do arrow as the first token because there's slightly less of it. I have to pro allow permissions on both of these tokens, approve the transactions in my wallet, and then as soon as it's approved, I'll actually be able to provide liquidity. Now that's approved, I can click on deposit. Again, I have to approve the transaction in my wallet. And then once I've done that, it should just take a second for the tokens to actually be deposited into the liquidity pool. Next thing I have to do is stake my deposit. And that's important because right now I'm providing liquidity, but it's not staked. So I'm not earning those lucrative arrow rewards. I click stake my deposit. You could choose to stake a smaller percentage of it, but I'm going to stake the entire thing. Again, you have to provide permission. Probably the one cumbersome thing about this is just the amount of permissions you have to provide. That being said, since base is fast and transactions are cheap, it really just requires you to click around for a minute or two. I click stake. Once again, I'm approving the transaction. And then now it should just take a second for the entire liquidity pool to actually be staked. And look at that, there we go. Now, if I go to dashboard here at the top, I can see all my positions and I have this wrapped ETH arrow liquidity position. You can see the amounts we just deposited. And if I scroll down, I will see the liquidity rewards and it's already started to earn some arrow. 
minuscule amount right now, far less than a cent because it's been about 30 seconds. But as this accrues, you'll be able to click on this claim button to actually claim the rewards in your wallet, but I'm not gonna claim them quite yet. And then when you're ready to withdraw from the pool, you just do what we just did in reverse. You can see there's a button to unstake it right here. Click on unstake. Once again, approve the transaction. Now, approving the transaction, if you've never used things on chain before, probably feels cumbersome, but the thing to note is that that's important security procedure so that only someone with access to your wallet can, can move these things around. Next, we click on withdraw your deposit. You have to allow the permission again. And if you have done a lot of things on chain, then you're probably saying, well, obviously you have to approve transactions. But in this channel, we make tutorials for people of all, all skill levels. So I still like to explain. And here you can see now I'm withdrawing the, the position and it will unstake it, break the liquidity pull out and give me back the tokens that I originally deposited. Amazing, man, let's see if I go back to, to swap now. Then you can see that the arrow appeared back in my wallet as did the wrapped ETH. If you wanna learn more about the latest trends, on-chain analysis and opportunities in DeFi, be sure to check out my newsletter at Dynamo DeFi substack.com. And for more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.